earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earth Pen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about mean, median, and mode. Before we proceed to the topic, we need to learn first what data sets are all about. Data sets are just a collection of data. This data are maybe the result of surveys or any other data collection method. For example, we need to record the weight of each student in a classroom and list them into data set or we need to list all of the items in a store and list them into data sets. But why do we need to learn first data sets before learning the concept of mean, median, and mode? It is because mean, median, and mode are three different properties of data sets. Now let's learn what each property really is and find out how to calculate them for any particular data set. Let's start with the mean. Mean is simply the average. It's the average we use to know, where we need to get the sum of all the values divided by the number of values. For example, we have a data set that contains three numbers. 5, 10, 6. To find the mean of these numbers, we just need to add all the numbers and divide it by how many numbers in the data set. So in this case, we need to add 5, 10, and 6 and divide it by 3. And the answer is 7. Therefore, the mean of these three numbers is 7. To visualize it, let's represent those numbers with a stack of coins and the height of stacks corresponds to their value. Since all of the numbers are different, the height of the stack of coins are also different. So to have the same height, we need to get the mean of the three numbers. So in this example, the mean is 7, therefore each stack can have 7 coins. So that's the concept of mean. It's like we are flattening out the numbers. Now what about the median? Median is the middle value in the list of numbers. To find the median, we need to arrange the number in ascending order from the least number to the highest number. For example, we have a data set that contains 7 numbers. And these are 12, 5, 6, 9, 11, 10, and 3. We need to arrange it first in ascending order. So the smallest number is 3, and then followed by 5, and then 6, 9, 10, 11, and the greatest number is 12. So the data set will look like this. Make sure also that you didn't miss out any number when arranging the numbers. As we can see, there are 7 values in this data set and the middle value is 9. Therefore, 9 is the median of this set. But what if the data set doesn't have an obvious middle number? Data sets that don't have obvious middle number are the data sets that have an even number of members. For example, the data set 5, 6, 7, 8. Obviously, we cannot identify the middle number in this data set. So if that's the case, all we need to do is get the mean or the average of the two middle numbers. So in this example, the two middle numbers are 6 and 7 so we need to add them together and divide them by 2 to get the mean and the mean of those two numbers will be the median of this data set therefore the median of the data set 5 6 7 8 is 6.5 
Even though the number 6.5 is not a number of the data set, it still represents the middle of the data set. Therefore, it will be the median of that data set. That's why we really need to rearrange the numbers into ascending order. So that's the concept of the mean and median. Now, let's proceed to the last topic which is the mode. Mode is the value that occurs most often in the data set. So if there are no repeating values present in the data set, then therefore there is no mode in that data set. For example, we have a data set 12, 11, 12, 5, 6, 9. As we can see, the number 12 occurs twice and all other numbers occurs just once. Therefore, the mode of this data set is 12. Now, what if we have a data set that looks like this? 12, 11, 7, 9, 13. As we can see, there are no repeated values in this data set. Therefore, there is no mode in this data set. But did you know that there are data sets that have more than one mode? Here's an example. 1, 5, 6, 7, 4, 7, 19, 19, 8. In this data set, the number 7 and number 19 is repeated twice. This means that the data set has two modes. And these are the numbers 7 and 19. So that's the concept of mean, median, and mode. Now let's try to find the mean, median, and mode of this data set. 5, 6, 7, 4, 4, 10, 16, 14, 6. So to find the mean of this data set, all we have to do is get the sum of these values and then divide it by the total number of values. So the mean of this data set is 8. Now, to get the median of this set, we need to arrange it first in ascending order. So the data set will look like this. 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 10, 14, 16. And then locate the middle number. So the middle number is 6. Therefore, the median is 6. And lastly, find the mode of this data set. As we can see, the number 4 and 6 are repeated twice. Therefore, the numbers 4 and 6 are the mode of this data set. So these are the three important properties of data sets. Just make sure that you won't interchange the process of mean, median, and mode. So always remember that mean means average, median is finding a middle number, and mode is number that occurs most often. So that's it guys, there you have it. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about these three basic properties of dataset. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is EarthPen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.